are gods, we are kings We march in faith cause we believe we can Change the world to what it needs Stand against our enemies cause we can We are kings demanding change Cause we believe we can The thing is, the nations, they hate when we teach black men to do according to the Bible. That's right. This is our weapon. But and listen, if we was out here teaching y'all some nonsense, they wouldn't even be bothering us. Right. They won't be bothering us if we allow y'all to walk by and say, black man, pull your damn pants up. If we didn't say that, guess what? They would not be bothering us. If we were to tell our sister that you are daughter of Zion, that you should be dressed in modest, they would not mess with us. Right. But that the reason we out here teaching God's laws and telling you to repent and come back so you can get the kingdom, they would they gonna mess with us. Like the officer brought up earlier, it's a strange thing to the, that we don't uh, go after the right and do all manners of evil. Right. It's strange to the other folks. But the thing is, guess what? They know as long as we in the midst of sin, they got us. Right. They got us right here. But when we come out of sin, we're going to rise back to the top and we're going to take the kingdom. Right. Right. Read that. So, chapter 119, verse 9. Uh -huh. What with thou shall a man, a young man, we young men. How can a young man cleanse his ways? All right. You ever looked at yourself and like, how can I be better? How can I be the man that I'm supposed to be? You ever ask yourself that question? What's my purpose in life? You ever you ever ask that question? Read that. By taking heed that you according to thy word. To taking heed to what? To thy word. To thy word. So that's how we cleanse our ways. Taking heed to the the laws of God. Right. That's how we cleanse our ways. Give me. Deuteronomy 10 and 12. Because the thing is, as as growing up as young people, young men, we had grandfathers, our fathers, they never taught us the right way. They never never taught us what's our whole duty. What are we supposed to be doing? They never taught us that. You ever been taught what you're supposed to be doing as a man or a man of God? Because I'm gonna tell you an example. When I grew up, my dad taught me, oh, it's okay to have sex with as many women as you can. Right. It's okay to to uh, you know, sleep with the other nations. That's what I was taught. And I know a lot of the, a lot of these other brothers was taught the same thing. Right. We was never taught God's laws. Right. We was never taught love your brother as you love yourself. We was never taught that. We was taught, hey, that brother got a hand, you check him. Right. But the thing is, when we, hey, the thing is, when we check our brother in the world, guess what they do? They get mad. They retaliate. They kill you. You understand? That, that's what we was taught. The brother step on your shoe, you get mad. You right. fighting. Yeah. That's what we was taught. We was not taught how to be a man of God. Read right. that. Deuteronomy chapter 10, verse 12. And guess yeah. what? That's why they mad. That's why we get harassed. Because we are rising the black man back up like thus say the Lord told us to do. Yeah. You understand that? Read that. And now Israel, uh -huh. what does the Lord thy God require of thee? He said, now Israel, guess what? Israel is the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. You are the biblical Israelites. You are the sons of the living God. Yes, right. Right. Read. But to fear uh -huh. the Lord thy God. So we are not supposed to fear man. We don't fear no man. We fear the Lord thy God. Read. Yeah. Right. To walk in all his ways. So we're going to walk in these commandments. Walk in his laws. Read. And to love him. And to love God. That's what we out here for. To teach our people we must come back to the laws of God. Yes, We're not out here for nothing else. We're not out here for, for uh to tell y'all to pick up weapons. We're not out here to tell y'all to uh to go on a riot. We out here to tell y'all to raise up. 
come out of the, the philosophies of America. Right. right. Read. And to serve the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul. That's what we are here for. Because the thing is, we are comfortable as a people. We are comfortable living in America at the bottoms of society. We are comfortable uh, living from paycheck to paycheck. But guess what? It's better than this. It's more than life than America. Give me Micah 2 and 10. It's more than life to waking up, going to school, learning about your oppressor and how he oppressed us. It's more than life than that. We can't, we can't be comfortable in this captivity. We can't be comfortable in this situation we're in. You understand that? You understand that, bro? We can't get complacent. We got to keep pushing. We got to keep pushing and get back in our rightful state. Read that. Micah chapter 2, verse 10. Uh -huh. no. Arise ye and depart. It says arise ye. You know why we got to rise up? Because we've been put down in slavery. This happened to us. No. We got to rise back up. We got to take back over our kingdom. Right. Right. We got to stop being effeminate ass men. Right. Right. We got to stop that. Rise back up. Know that you're a son of God. That you're a prophet of the most high God. Right. That you're a soldier of his army. Right. Right. Know that. Read. And depart. And depart. Depart from the ways of America. Depart from Christmas. Depart right. from uh, Easter. Uh, Thanksgiving. Uh, birthdays. Fourth of July. Fourth of July. Right. Uh, all that nonsense, depart from that thing. Separate yourself from that. You understand? Guess what? Th that's not in the Bible. That's not our custom. Right. Depart from anything that go contrary to the laws of God. Right. Right. Read. Right. But this is not your rest. This is not your rest. America, Babylon the Great, this is not your rest. Right. 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 This is not your kingdom. Yeah. Read. Because it is polluted. It's polluted. How is it polluted? It's polluted because we follow the, the customs of the heathen. It's polluted because we can't rise back up as men because they had they had dumbed us down to be feminine men. It's polluted because we, we celebrate Christmas. Right. Fourth of July. Easter. It's polluted. Read. It shall destroy you. It shall destroy you if you continue to follow the ways of America. It's going to destroy you, black man, if you don't rise back up and come back to God. Right. Why you think we killing each other? Well, you, know, you, think it's because, you think it's because that's something we just got in us? Hell no. They put that, they put that in us. Bro. They put, hate your brother. They put, hey, if this brother right here lighter than you, hate him. They Bring put that up. in your mind. Right. Bring you it know, up. heard the story of Willie Lynch? The light skin, what they did, the light-skinned Negro would go in the house because he was light-skinned. The dark-skinned Negro, they'll put him outside. Guess what they call him? A field Negro. Right. You understand that? If you were dark, you was called a field Negro. If you was light, they call you a house Negro. That's what they put in us. We never, hey, we never thought like that before. Because why? We knew Jesus the Christ was a black man. Right. Right. We knew that the prophets in the Bible was a black man. They taught us that. That's why I say arise and depart. Because if not, it's going to destroy us. We all going to kill each other off. If doggone, we don't come back to God. Right. Read. Even with a sword destruction. With a sword destruction. You understand that, bro? Let's get on that. Give me, uh, give me, uh, give me, uh, 1 Chronicles 7, 14. 1 Chronicles 7, 14. We got to humble down as men. We got to humble down. That's how we're going to receive this word by humbling down. Right. Read. Second Chronicles, chapter 7, verse 14. Uh -huh. you know, if my people, which are called by my name. So what name are y'all called by? Are y'all called African American or Israelite? You're Bohemian. Okay. So, uh, out of all the teaching you was taught up here, you, you still don't know that you're Israelite. So, are you called by Bohemian or are you called by Israelite? That's the question. You're Israelite, that's right. You'll be from the mighty tribe of uh, uh, Benjamin. Right. And you will be from the mighty tribe of what? Benjamin. Guess what? You are called by the name of God at that point. Right. You're no longer called by the name of your heathen once, once you find out that you're a child of God. Right. You no longer go by Bohemian. 
you go by Israelite from the mighty tribe of Benjamin. That's you understand right. that? So don't let nobody call you an African American or a Bohemian, a West Indian. You are an Israelite from the tribe of Benjamin. That's right. Read. And my people, which are called by my name. He said my people that are called by my name. The Israelites, you black, Hispanic, and Native Americans. Read. Shall humble themselves. We got to humble ourselves to the word of God. Read. And pray and seek my face. So we got to pray and seek the Lord's face. We got to come back to his laws, his statutes, and his commandments. Read. And turn from their wicked ways. So we got to turn from our wicked ways. What's wrong with us coming out here telling the black man to turn from his wicked ways? What? What's wrong with that? What's wrong with, our t with telling our sisters they are beautiful and they don't need their oppressors in their head? Hey, What's hey. wrong with that? Read. Hey. Then will I hear from heaven. So the Most High God said, when you humble yourself, turn from your evil, he said, then he's going to hear from heaven. Right. Because right now the Lord is not dealing with our people because we're in the midst of sin. That's why we, that's why we get shot down every day. Right. That's why we're at the bottom of society. That's why we keep uh, getting picked on or poked at because we're teaching the word of God. You know. And they know that. Read. Then will I hear from heaven. He said then he's going to hear from, from heaven. Read. And will forgive their sin. Then the Lord is going to forgive our sin. Raise your hand if you want the most I got to forgive your sin. I do. I do. Hey, sister, you want the Lord to forgive you of your sins? We got to humble to the word of God. Right. We got to come out of our wicked ways. Read. And we'll heal the land. And then he's going to heal our land. He's going to put us back in our homeland. Right. Right. We're going to get our kingdom back. Right. The hell with this defiled place. Right. We don't right. want this kingdom. Read. Now my eyes shall be open. And my ears attend unto the prayer. So what is he saying? Until you come back to keeping my laws, he's not hearing our prayers. You know. We can pray all day and all day. But until we humble down, come back to the laws of God, he's not hearing our prayers. Right. right. He said he's going to be back. Read that part again. Now my eyes shall be open. So he's gonna, his eyes going to be open. He's going to see us in affliction. He gonna see us get about to get shot down. He gonna see all of that. Read. And my ears attend unto the prayer. So he gonna be attentive to our prayers. Until we humble down, come into his laws, the Lord not even hearing those prayers. Give me John 9, 31. Bring it out. Because if you don't believe me, tell the pastor to uh, explain this. All he tell you to do, oh pray, oh just pray. Pray. We've been praying for over 400 plus years right. to deliver us out of this kingdom. Nothing happened. Why? Because we're in the midst of sin. Right. right. Read that. Hey. John chapter 9, verse 31. Uh -huh. Now we know that God here is not sinners. So you so-called black man, Hispanic man. As long as, as long as we're in the midst of sin, God is not hearing your prayers. Right. Read. But if any man be a worshiper of God and doeth his will, him he heareth. So until you come back to the laws of God, the Lord is not going to deal with you. He's not going to deal with you. Give me Hosea 5, 15. And then we're going to show you how to repent to get the attention of God's ears. Bring it out. Y'all want the attention of God's ears, right? You want him to hear your, your prayers. I know I do. And I'm telling you, bro, once I came in this truth, my life changed, bro. All of our lives, you see these men, you might see a small number of us right now. But guess what, bro? It's way bigger than us. Right. You might just see a small number of brothers right here. Bro, we huge, bro. You got a huge body of believers out there right. that keep God's laws. So you'll fit right in when you change your life and come to uh, come into keeping these laws. Right. Don't worry about being an outcast from these, these, uh, these college people you go to school with. Don't worry about that. Because once you, once you leave them, once you lose your friends in the world, you gain friends in this truth. Right, right, right. You understand that? Right. Brothers say, I'm ride or die. But when you say, brother, stop, I don't celebrate Christmas no more, he leave you. You understand? That's the kind of stuff you're going to deal with with the people in the world. Read that. Hosea chapter 5, verse 15. Uh -huh. yeah. I will go and 
return to my place. So the Lord said he's going to go and return to his place. Read. Till they acknowledge their offense. Until we acknowledge our offense. Hey, Lord, I'm in the midst of sin. I, I, I'm, in a, I'm in the midst of uh, fornication. I'm in the midst of adultery. I'm in the midst of uh, idolatry. Until we acknowledge that thing, guess what? The Lord not going to hear our prayers. You know what you deal with. Do you not know what you deal with? What about you, bro? You know what you deal with, what you battle with in your mind? You do, don't you? Read. And see my face. So we got to see the Lord's face. So we got to acknowledge our sins to, our, uh, to the Most High God. He know what we got going on. Right. But guess what? Until we acknowledge him, hey, he ain't, he ain't gonna deal with us. That's what the Bible say. I didn't say that. The Bible said until you acknowledge your sins, he's not gonna deal with you. He said he's gonna turn, your, turn his face from among us. Read. In their affliction, uh -huh. they will seek me early. So I got a question. You ever seen on a movie when brothers get shot down? What the first thing they say when they get shot? What, what they say? You ever seen a movie? For example, uh, y'all seen Boys in the Hood? What happened when uh, Ricky got shot? What, else, what, what his mama was screaming? Oh, my baby. Oh, my baby. Ricky, my, you know what I'm saying? Oh, Lord, my baby. That, that's what she'll say. Oh, Lord, my baby. Why? Why, Lord, why? It says in their time of affliction, they're going to seek the Lord. Don't wait till you getting shot down or gunned down or the police come and arrest you to seek God. Right. Seek God when before I even get to that point. Right. Right. Daniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.